Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the iconic O2 Arena here in London, England for the featured bout of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled in an international heavyweight featured attraction. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing in association with David Hay of Haymaker Promotions. Broadcast live around the world on Sky Sports and streamed exclusively in America on DAZN. We are sponsored by William Hill, heavyweight since 1934, StubHub, Volterol, and JD Sports. This bout is sanctioned under the auspices of the British Boxing Board of Control. The steward in charge is Mr. Mick Collier. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest all from the United Kingdom. From Doncaster, Michael Alexander. From Gillingham, Ian John Lewis. And from Barhead, Victor Lachlan. Your timekeeper from Bromley, British Boxing Hall of Famer, Mr. Bob Edgeworth. And at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring from Twickenham, A-star referee, Marcus McDonald. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring right here in London, England, this is it. The time has come. The fight starts now! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing with his head trainer, Jay Gray. He wears the black with blue and gold. He scaled 17 stone, 10 pounds, 9 ounces. His professional record, an excellent one. 28 victories, only one defeat. He has 24 big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Perth, Australia, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former WBA heavyweight champion of the world. Lucas Big Daddy Brown! Brown! And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He stands with his head trainer, Mick Morrison, and his advisor, Darren Barker. He wears the yellow and black. He scaled 17 stone, 6 pounds, 2 ounces. His professional record, 16 victories, 4 defeats, 2 draws. He has 13 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out Cottonsville, known as the Doncaster Del Hoya, a.k.a. the White Rhino, introducing the popular, the hard-hitting, the people's champion, dazzling David Allen! Boys, I expect you both interested in what I expect at a professor all times. Obey my instructions, watch your ears, and keep it Any questions? Let's go to work. So the day has come. He's prepared properly for this opportunity. David Allen against Lucas Brown. Again, very respectful in the build up, these two fellas. And Dave Allen, he can't do needle, he can't do all that stuff, he can't do the trash talk. He can only have fun with his opponents until it gets to this point. And then it's serious business. Very well, nervy start from Allen, just a bit wild with the right hand. Brown has the slight advantage with reach and height. You can hear the voice of Darren Barker, even though not in the corner, clearly near to it. Speed, that's what it's all about, that's what they've been working on, his movement, his natural movement, his natural boxing skills, which he often hasn't utilised. He reckons he has the best chin in boxing he can take, anyone's power. Doesn't really want to go down that route, I mean, for all his limitations, Lucas Brown does have a right hand on it. Yeah, clearly. Got other physical advantages as well, and size and reach, and he started quite well with that that stiff jab and that long right hand. 
Allen never been the quickest starter in the world anyway, so he'll look to get his feet in a little bit and unload with his heavier shots. What's between them? The way in, 17 stone, 6 and 2 ounces for Dave Allen, 17 stone, 10 and 1 ounce for Lucas Brown. Pulls apart really physically in terms of size. Good jab from Allen, acknowledged by Brown, just nods the head. Yeah. See, Allen used the, the, the quick double jab. Not quite yet, it's still going with the singles. Dave Allen's been preparing for this by not a sparring with Derek Chisora. And by all accounts, doing very well. At the moment, he isn't doing some of the things he said he'd do in there in terms of moving the head. That's been caught by Brown. Good. But nothing much to report, to be to be fair. It was a pretty tame first round. Um, a lot of looking, a lot of sizing up. You would have to say that um, Big Daddy Brown was a little bit busier, wouldn't you? Um, poking and prodding, he was landed a couple of decent body shots as well. So you probably have to lean towards giving the first round to Brown, I would say, probably. Marsden turning to keep the boxing going, and Dave Allen just prior to that saying it will come. As you say, slow starter naturally. Yeah. But I think nerves play a big part for all the laughing and joking yeah, and everything else. He probably, looked pensive. Yeah, you looked could. Pensive. You couldn't be forgiven for thinking he was probably one of those type of guys, wouldn't you? It takes a, bit, a little bit of time to get warmed in there. Well, his biggest win against Nick Webb probably his most dramatic anyway for four rounds. It was he looked just like a sparring partner, and then bang. Yeah. And that, you know, like every time he's, uh, he looks like oh, he's never going to get into this tonight, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he starts putting them together. I think we called the web fight uh, as well, and not a lot of people even gave him a chance there. They thought he was getting comprehensive without box, then he landed that huge overhand right. And fantastic shot, turned everything on its head. Oof. He tried something similar then, but was way off. Yeah. Good head movement from Brown there, to be fair. He read that quite well. in front of him. Well, we've certainly already seen more punches landed yeah. in one and a half rounds than we did in the previous fight. Yeah, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to take too many of these though. Mothering Brown's work a little bit now, isn't he? Yeah. 
Step away, Dave. Step away. I'd like to see. I'd like to see Alan busier with his jab. I think he would. Uh, I think he would set up better positioning for himself. He's kind of like walking forward, hands high. He's catching the majority of these shots on his on his hands and gloves. One of the things that you would think about going into a fight, and you know, again, it's the event. Yeah. Is he fully ready yeah. to realise he's topping an event at the O2 Arena? Given the fact that he's been a replacement, he's been a last-minute step-in fighter, he's come through that way, and all of a sudden he's the star man, he's the yeah. A-side. And is he dealing with that OK, Dave Allen? Because, again, we, you know, a really engaging, great character. But, you know, he can. This is Jay Gray, Lucas Brown's new trainer. Well, apologies if you're offended by any of the colourful language, but Jay Gray trying to get his point across to Lucas Brown. They recently joined forces in Perth after Rodney Williams was previously Lucas Brown's trainer. Dave Allen needs to get a foothold in this fight. Doesn't want it slipping away because, would you yeah. agree, Alex, for probably the yeah, first well, two rounds to yeah, Brown, well, he's just heard done Brown's more. Corner, you heard Brown's corner basically say that, you know, it put something heavy on the end of those prodding shots. But there you see Allen step it up a little bit now. Well, the first meaningful right from Dave Allen landing to the head of Lucas Brown, and that's G'd the crowd up a little bit. He's boxing a little bit more now. Nice job. Good head and beautiful oh. body shot. Well, the what left to the body, body and shot. Brown wow. has gone down in all sorts of trouble. And the face. That you can see the pain. A broken rib. Honestly, well, Don, that's a huge shot. He's not going to get up. And that is, well, what a shocking end, really, to that fight. The body shot. He hadn't really warmed into the fight. But that body shot from Dave Allen. And the grimace on the face of Lucas Brown the minute it landed told its own story. And the story of Dave Allen continues. He's done it again. He's what a barely, fantastic punch. He's barely got in a fight, and he finds something out of nowhere, and it's fight over. Very the well timed. The Nitwick knock, Nit knockout was God, that incredible. That is called the sweet spot. He hit him right on that bottom rib. He was flat on the bottom rib. And he was probably breathing out as he was moving back. It was perfect timing. Fantastic punch. Well, Lucas Brown acknowledges a smile for Dave Allen. Well, Dave Allen made a joke on Twitter telling Eddie Hearn that if he does Lucas Brown in three, he wants Joshua next. <laughs> I think we're going to hear a little more of that. Darren Barker obviously there with... Maybe that's why Darren Barker's so happy. I don't think I've just seen Darren Barker so happy in a long time. <laughs> He's put a lot of work into Dave Allen, in fairness, Darren Barker, at the 12x3 gym in Paddington. Well, good to see these scenes between the two men. It was always going to be the case. They've been very friendly in the build-up. It was a fight that was made on Twitter in many ways at the back end of last year, and the, the two decided that they could make it happen. A little bit of back and forth on Twitter, and there we were, the fight made. But now Eddie Hearn, Dave Allen keeps giving Eddie Hearn problems. <laughs> he has to keep coming up with fights for him, because he keeps getting over the line and doing the business of late. We'll get the official announcement at the end of that fight now with RMC for the evening. Who's ready to go? Mr. David Diamante. Right on the sweet spot. What a beautifully picked punch. 
Brown was getting maybe a bit greedy at that point. Could possibly, yeah. See the openings. He never seen it coming at all. Very rare to see a heavyweight go down with one body shot, isn't it? They've normally got plenty of padding around there. They normally uh, take those shots pretty well, but that was right on the soft rib. Oh, right on the soft rib. What a shot. Well, the Grimace just... You knew he couldn't, yeah. couldn't recover. Right on the sweet spot, yeah. Maybe they reckon it takes up to 25 seconds to recover from a from a full full blown wind and body shot. Well, maybe it's just not enough time. Despite the training regime, Rupert Barnes put himself through. He's 40 years of age. Came to combat sport late, kickboxer. Started that at 30. To get where he managed to get with that world title fight against Chagiev, he achieved great things. But Dave Allen. Well, he's done it again, and listen to the crowd, what a moment for him again. Top of the bill at the 0-2, and he's just stopped Lucas Brown in three. With the beauty of a body shot, and here, I think, once it calms down a little, finally is our MC, David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Marcus McDonald calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, 58 seconds of round number three. Your winner by Kevin.